What's going on in the Naples real estate market? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, let's go. Welcome to another market update report. My name is Margaret Hodge and I'm gonna go right into the national economy before I go into the Naples real estate market. And as you can see here, the American economy has been put on pause and that is everywhere. And that is due to obviously the COVID-19 that I talked about last month when I mentioned whether or not there's gonna be a recession like 2008 in the housing market all over again. Well, not the case. However, it's still impacting the economy and we won't know further until more time passes by. There are financial institutional experts that believe that we're gonna have a V-shaped economic recovery, which means that we're gonna hit rock bottom and then rebound right back up. However, there are differing opinions about that. As you can see here, I have a journalist who believes that the market is gonna take more of a U-shaped or an L-shaped economic recovery, which is not really the best, not being able to rebound as quickly, but hey, I have to be able to point out the facts. So these are differing opinions, and we're not gonna know more until we keep moving forward. But the second burning question I've been getting a lot from um, basically the community is, yes, Margaret, but what about all those job losses? Well, here is a chart here showing that the primary industry that's being affected most happens to be the food service entertainment industry, whether it's um, obviously flying or whether it's visiting a restaurant for food and drink or anything to do with that industry is heavily being affected at about 60% of unemployment is affecting that market. So Goldman Sachs believes that yes, it's gonna hit high. Right now it's about 15%, could be higher, could affect other industries, but the following three years it should go down and unemployment will be less. So we will get through this, this will pass. And now I would like to move right into the local real estate market here in Naples, Florida. And I have the infograph from the Naples Area Board of Realtors. And basically here's what the facts point out is that the numbers that have been compiled from March of 2019 to March 2020 shows that it's been a 28% decrease in overall inventory. So Naples housing is still very much in demand and it's essential in this market right now. But I must say, compared to last March of last year, we've had a 38% decrease in overall pending sales. That basically means that we've come to almost a complete halt the last half of March, which has heavily impacted how the, the market activity has been going with these pending sales. Then again, another uh, contradictory type of stats here is that we have that the median sales price has actually gone up 10% compared to last year at 372 thousand and then all across the board there's been a 16 percent increase all across the board whether it's a house or a condominium and last there's been an eight percent decrease in days on the market so it means on average it takes about 98 days for the whole process to complete from start to finish from when a house is being bought and sold and officially closes so that's the market report from naples real estate and I am Margaret Hodge with the Pifanio team at Royal Shell. If you have any questions, please let us know because we are still working. We offer virtual open houses. We also have a significant amount of research that we can do for you when you're ready to buy or sell because this time will pass. But in the meantime, I want you to also remember to stay safe and healthy. And I will see you next month for another market report. Thanks for watching.